Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. David De La Sola is a familiar name to many at DOL as he returns to the department that he ran for 12 years, beginning in the mid-90s. While he's working closely with the administration and department experts on the H-2B issue, he also has some other in-house priorities. We have certain uh, divisions, wage and hour and workers' comp, that have, uh, have saw a lot of attrition through retirement and almost basically wiped out. And those are the places that we need to start having commission meetings and doing more enforcement and taking care of the problems that we have. He also wants to make access to the department's programs more convenient to the public. I also like to grow I, our technology. I got a strong belief that uh, a lot of our services and stuff like that it, it can be driven through apps and we got a very good Hire Guam app that we want to push out there and get more exposure for and help the people as they are looking for jobs that these jobs will pop up on their phones and tell you where to go and align them with the employers. But Della Sola says his top priority is developing the local labor force, preparing workers for what the administration hopes will be a more diversified economy. What's real exciting is that the the governor and the lieutenant governor with Governor Gutierrez are going to look for new industries and economic growth. I want to keep an eye very closely in those areas and potentials for those new uh, industries to come in. And I want to align our, our, our apprenticeship programs, our work experience, and on-the-job training to those new industries. So, and we want to move towards those demand-driven occupations. Where are these industries? Where are the jobs that are needed? and move our people in those kind of trainings. A confirmation hearing on Della Sola's appointment as labor director is scheduled for February 6. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.